in case you don't know, <laughs> I mean, there is a bit of a height difference between us. So, a bit of a challenge to find the right angle to film this in. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and today I'm here to do a book haul. Um, who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> Hello, it's Silja, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day. So, we're doing a joint book haul. We went to London together a bit more than a month ago now, yeah. and we bought a bunch of books, and we're going to show them to you. Uh, some of them you will see here, some of them you will see on her channel, and some of them you can find on Mark Nash's channel, and I will leave links to both him and Celia down below. So if you want to watch all the books we bought in London, you need to watch three videos. And it will be like the whole of shame. Except there's no shame in buying books. No, it's not. We like buying books. Yeah, we do. As you'll see. <laughs> So for this video, this is the first bookshop, but it was actually the fifth bookshop we went to on our trip and the previous four you will find on her channel. But uh, our number five was uh, Foils, where we went instead of buying dinner a day. Yeah. I mean, by eating chocolate in the hotel room is perfectly fine for dinner. It is. Um... At least Look, some more important than food. Yes, obviously. Yeah. So we went to Foils. Um, we actually got thrown out of Foils because we thought they closed an hour later than they did. But we managed to buy some books before we had to leave a bit more abruptly than we would have wanted. Uh, and one of the ones I picked up was this one called Medieval Bodies by Jack Hartnell. And uh, I think you liked that one as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we don't really know a lot about this book. We know it's about medieval bodies. Yeah, <laughs> and we like, like bodies and biology. Yeah. And it's also somewhat of a cover by, because look at this cover. But it's all about how people in the medieval times looked at bodies uh, in various places of the world. And it sounds very fascinating. Yeah. Obviously, since we both got it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't borrow from each other. No, no. no. Seriously. <laughs> I mean, it's too far away. Yeah. Yeah. It's like 40 minutes to walk. Yeah. Obviously, we need to have separate copies. Yes, Anyways, <laughs> I bought uh, more books. I also bought this one, Dust Tracks on the Road by Sola Neil Hurston. Uh, this is an author I've been meaning to read. I've never read anything by her. This is a memoir. And uh, I think the cover is beautiful. Apparently all I do is cover buys, judging by this, but it has deckled edges and I really dislike yeah, deckled it's... edges. I, it makes books harder to read. I don't know why this is supposed to be such a fancy thing, uh, but I'm hoping the book is good. I think yeah, this is going to be right up my alley. I read the first two pages in the bookshop and they are beautifully written and I like memoirs, so I feel that this is... Uh, Gonna be a good one. Then I got Against Interpretations and Other Essays. I'm just trying to hold this in a place that I don't cover either your or my face. By Susan Sontag. And this is a collection of essays that I've been meaning to read for a long time. Uh, Susan Sontag is an author that I'm convinced I'm going to love, uh, just from everything I've read about her. But uh, this is gonna be my first attempt actually reading her essays and my expectations are very very high on this. And then the final thing I bought at Foils was uh, Transit by Rachel Cusk which is the second book in her trilogy that started with Outline and I read Outline last year and I really liked it so I'm sure I'm gonna like this as well. I will probably be reading this uh, shortly I think because this is one I'm eager to get to. So those were my purchases at Foils. I guess you bought some as well? Yeah, I bought a couple of books. Uh, I bought uh, three books uh, and the two I will show you now is two books that you found to me. Find very, for me. I'm very good at finding books for yes, you. Yes, you are. As you are for me. <laughs> uh, the first is Her Body and Other Parties by Carmen Maria Macado. Uh, this is a collection of short stories. And um, just reading the blurbs tells me that this is a silly book. 
It's uh, bodies become inconsequential, humans become monstrous, and anger becomes erotic. I'm all in for the dark and erotic and brutal things. <laughs> Hearing you read that, I really remember why I thought that was a silly book. Yes, it sounds um, like you. And the other book is also a book you found for me, and that is also a silly book, and that's Left Bank. Uh, Art, Passion and the Rebirth of Paris, 1940-1950 by Agnès Poirier and you can see like My Hero, Albert Camus and other very important people in the French or Parisian scene in that time and it takes place in the Latin Quarter and the Saint Germain era, area and Paris is my home away from home and these parts are my favorite parts of the city and it's a non-fiction. So the next day we went to see the Globe Theatre and that was great except a very small panic attack because I was stuck on a high ledge. But we got to see like a rehearsal for Romeo and Juliet which was fantastic. Yeah, that was a but really perk that yeah, we didn't it was. really <laughs> expect when we got there. Uh, and then we went from the Globe to London Review Bookshop, where we had uh, cake. Cake. We bought a lot of cake. And a lot of books. And uh, let's show you the books, because the cake is long gone. <laughs> uh, and uh, the first book I got was Hot Milk by Deborah Levy, or Levi, not sure. Uh, this is uh, a novel. Uh, on her channel, I'll talk about the other uh, Deborah Levi book I bought, which was The Cost of Living, which is her sec the second part in her memoir series. And I bought that on the first day in London. I loved it and I wanted to read more by her, so I picked up one of her novels. This is uh, about a mother and a daughter, about their relationship, also about the estranged father. and uh, well, It's very much about some weird family dynamics. and. Uh, that makes me think you would like this book as well, because I know you like reading about that. Yeah. Uh, I read it already, I liked it, uh, but probably not quite as much as uh, The Cost of Living, but it was still a very good book. Uh, the next book I got there was this one called uh, Blood Child by Octavia Butler, which is another author I've been meaning to read for ages. I've heard nothing but good things about her books. Uh, and uh, this feels like a bit of a random pick because it's not one of her more famous ones. This is a short story collection, but I thought it might be an interesting place to start with her. And then the final one I got there was uh, A View from the Bed and Other Stories by Jenny Diskey. Uh, two years ago, I think, I read In Gratitude by her, which was the last book she published before she passed away due to cancer. Uh, and I really like that book and I've been wanting to read more by her, but I haven't been able to find anything wherever I've gone. It's always been in gratitude that's been in stock. So I was very happy to find this and uh, I look forward to reading it. I think this is a collection of essays that all have been previously published in various literary magazines. And uh, I really liked her writing, so excited. Yeah. I mean, I'm excited about all of them. And that's a good thing, yeah, isn't it? I think it so. is. You are probably equally excited about yeah. your pile. Yes, I am. Uh, the first book I bought was The Inner Room by Robert Aikman, and this is uh, part of the Faber 90s, which was books released due to its 90th celebration, I think. Uh, this is about a house that is bigger on the inside than on the outside. Kind of like House of Leaves or like the TARDIS yeah. from Doctor Who. I hope it's more like the TARDIS and not as scary as, as House of Leaves. You never know. Uh, the next book is Satan Tango by Laszlo Karashnahurkai or something like that. Um, I have been meaning to read him for quite a while but he is somewhat daunting to me. Uh, this is his most accessible work, I think, and it also won the Man Booker International Prize in 2015. And it's about this communist utopia, and then this man arrives and dark things happen. And as you know, I like dark things. 
At least in books. In books. <laughs> Not in real life. <laughs> I don't think any of us do. No. Uh, then I have a book that screams Silja, and this is This Young Monster by Charlie Fox. It's a collection of essays, and it's about the freaks and the freaks in uh, in pop culture, and it mentions like Twin Peaks and Harmony Corinne or Corinne and Nabokov, and I mean, it's written for me. Uh, the last book I bought was Selected Poems by Anna Akhmatova. Uh, she was a Russian poet, as uh, the same, tr not tradition, but generation as Boris Pasternak. And I love everything Pasternak. And when I was flipping through her poetry, it very much reminded me of the poems of Boris Pasternak. So I look forward to really dive into this. So the next bookshop we went to was Forbidden Planet. And that's one of my favorite bookshops in London. I don't know, you like it too? Yes, I do. I mean, we are geeks after all. Yeah. And uh, one of the things I got there was The Night Masquerade, Binti The Night Masquerade by Nnedi Okorafor, which is a book I've been looking for forever because I have the I have read the previous two Binti and Binti Home really like them I wanted to read the third part but I couldn't find it anywhere here in Norway all, all bookshops I found just had either the first one or the bind up of all three and I just wanted the third one because that was the one I was lacking and I finally found it I have read it and it's brilliant as the other two this is a story about Binti and uh, she leaves her tribe to go, not just away from her tribe, but away from the planet. She goes to university in a different planet and she comes back home and it's about her transformation, not just growing up, but because this is sci-fi, it's a bit more literal transformations as well. And it's great. I really recommend it. Yeah, I think <laughs> I need to read it. Yeah. And then I also got How Long Till Black Future Month by N.K. Jemisin, which was another one I wanted, I, I knew I wanted going in there. Uh, I've read all other books by N.K. Jemisin and I really like her. And this is a collection of, I think, both short fiction and non-fiction. And uh, I can't wait to dive in, or apparently I can because it's been a month, but it's a big pile. I've been reading some of them. Uh, and then the last one I got was uh, Planet Fall by Emma Newman, which is a book I've heard about many places and it sounds really good. Uh, but I bought it specifically this time because it was recommended to me by Elizabeth from the channel Books and Pieces. And uh, I'm going to listen to her because so far all the books I've read on her recommendation have been great. So I'm expecting nothing less from this. And uh, that was my haul from uh, Forbidden Planet, but you got something as well? Yeah, but I forgot it back home, but I bought three graphic novels or comics. I bought the second volume of Ice Cream Man, and the first volume of Black Hammer, and the first volume of Criminal. So I can't wait to like dive into them. Sounds interesting. Yeah, you've talked a lot about Ice Cream Man on yeah. your channel. So if yes. you want to know more about that, you can go watch her videos. And the day after that, we were meant to have a uh, non-buying day. It went superb. <laughs> yeah, as always, uh, we went to the British Museum uh, as planned. But you know, they have a museum bookshop at the British Museum, and we didn't know about that at all. Oh, we did. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we got books there as well. Uh, I got this one, which is called The Story of Writing Alphabets, Hieroglyphs and Pictograms by Andrew Robinson. And if ever there was a book with my name on it, it had to be this one. I kind of literally pushed <laughs> Celia out of the way to get to it on the shelf when I saw it. And um, I have already read it and it was very interesting. It's uh, very richly illustrated with pictures and uh, and like explanations like this and uh, it was super interesting. I am planning on making a video about this. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. I can't wait to it's, see the video. Uh, yeah, it was good. 
Um, and I bought actually two books, but I managed to forget one of them back home. Uh, that was a book about uh, anatomy and art. Um, but I did bring with me the Greek myth, the complete and definitive edition. Definitive? By Robert Graves. And I loved the Greek myths growing up. And I have lost my book, so I needed a new one. And it's floppy, because even though we don't like decorative edges, we do like floppy books. We always stand in bookshops like this um, to judge whether a book is worth buying or not. Yeah, I'm sure that looks completely sane. I think it's very sane. Yeah, yeah, we agree on that. Yeah. So that concludes this part of the book haul. If you want to see the rest, uh, you need to watch the video on her channel, as I mentioned in the introduction, and also the one that Mark Nash put up a month ago <laughs> on his channel, uh, where we actually filmed on the day we bought the books. At an Indian restaurant. Yeah, a bit of background <laughs> noise, but the books are all there. Yeah. The books are great. So uh, I really enjoyed the trip with you. I'm I did too, <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm expecting there will be a repeat of that in the future. Yeah, next in February. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is our annual tradition. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. And uh, until next time, bye bye. Bye bye.